As of this past Saturday, it is now less than two months until I become a priest, and things are starting to get real. Hello and welcome to The Deacon Year, a weekly show about the life of at least one transitional deacon preparing to become a Catholic priest. I'm Deacon Kyle. For whatever reason, at this point on my journey to become a priest, the gravity of the whole thing really has started to hit me in a new way, it seems. And so what better way to well, try to make sense of this whole experience than to take a look again at the promises that I will be making at my ordination on June 19. I have in my hand here a copy of the Rite of Ordination for Priests. And in this we find that there are six promises that the elect make. Six promises made by those men who will become priests. So I'd like to go through them with you and then share some comments and some brief reflections on what I think about them at this point in my journey towards priesthood. The way these promises are structured is that the bishop addresses us with these words, with these questions, on whether we resolve to do X. And oftentimes X is a very grammatically complex statement. And then we say, I do. As we take a look at these six different promises, I believe we can draw out some patterns and some themes, at least for me, that could be helpful as I try to envision what my priestly ministry will be like. First, we'll talk about the first promise and then the sixth promise, the last one, about obedience. Do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? Oftentimes people can be kind of put off by this concept of obedience, but I think it is very important for us to read that in light of that first promise, which speaks about how we, as uh, priests in the presbyteral rank, are to be wor worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock. If you take a look at the Latin for obedio, obedire, in other words, obedience, it also means to give ear to, to listen to, which for me get, really carries the sense that as a priest, participating in the ministry of my bishop, we are fellow co-workers in the Lord's vineyard serving God's people. For the second promise, that gives me the sense of having to be a prophetic witness. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? In a sense, as a priest, I have to act like a prophet, which at times may not put me in the most popular <laughs> positions. But as a servant to the gospel and the truth proclaimed to us in Revelation, that's my responsibility. For the third promise, this seems to encapsulate for me the more public elements of the priestly ministry, what people see the priest doing with the sacraments up on the altar. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently, in accord with the Church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? For a twofold purpose. For the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people. Because worship, all worship, should have this twofold purpose. Because it is due God to glorify God also. It's supposed to make us holy. So that is why I am to be doing these sacraments, to glorify God and to make the people I serve holy. On that point of make, helping the people become more holy, the fourth promise calls me to be an intercessor, to make a personal commitment to pray for my people. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? For me, the fifth promise is probably the most powerful one to contemplate. Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ, the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? I do with the help of God. It's a little different for this fifth response. What does it mean to unite myself more closely every day with Christ? This is not, this is not something I could just check off and, okay, I'm good. I have to always be striving for this, and I think this is probably going to be the greatest challenge for me as a priest, because I, you know, I could do projects, I could like, do actions, but this internal work, that's something where I, I still feel a lack, and I, I imagine this may be a lack I feel for the rest of my life. 
I rem remember a priest who gave a homily here at the seminary, and he talked about this very memorable line he heard when he was in seminary, that in the history of the church, there has not always been a so-called shortage of priests, but there has always been a shortage of good ones, and that even in his own priesthood, he feels that lack, that shortage, because on our own, we're not enough. We're always striving to become more and more closely united to Christ every day. And that is such an incredible ideal, a standard, but, you know, and as it says, with the help of God, I will strive to do that. And this last phrase about this is, to consecrate myself for the salvation of all, that I am really pouring myself out, you know, for people's salvation, for the sake of their immortal souls. And yes, their sacrifices will be entailed, but... I could just kind of taste it, taste the the glory, not a, not a vain glory, but a glory in the light of Christ, in Christ's love, in his in his life, a fullness of humanity that I cannot really expect to find elsewhere, because this is where God has called me, and I believe that in answering this call, this vocation, that God will fulfill me beyond my wildest dreams and you know through his mercy through his love lead me to himself well that's some kind of some reflections at this point about two weeks left of classes and let's just wrap it up very quickly okay i guess we have a meeting in about oh shoot <laughs> we have a meeting in about two minutes i gotta wrap this up anyway thanks for watching take care god bless i'll see you next week